Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. You probably wonder why I'm on my crappy little webcam here and my audio sounds like crap as well. Because I'm going to talk about a little extra, the little tool that I've been using recently to make your audio go from this crappy, right now it's really crappy audio conditions. I've got my microphone that's inside my laptop somewhere that's recording, so it's not that great. I've got like a little heater running here as well, because uh, it's winter in Utah and we're very cold. So, uh, But what I want to show you is how to take audio from this to audio like this. See, now it all of a sudden sounds really good, and I'm using a really crappy microphone, and I'm using a really crappy uh, sound, envi uh, sound environment here as well. Uh, so let me introduce you to what it is uh, that makes this so good. Uh, Adobe has a new tool here. I don't work for Adobe. They're not sponsoring me on this. It's just something that I think I thought was a really cool tool that I've been using lately to clean up audio, and it is using, oh, I'm going to drop the word, AI. Artificial intelligence was going to take over the world and destroy us all pretty soon. But anyway, but in the meantime, we're going to have a really good time uh, with AI before it destroys us because it's helping us make our um, our stories better. It's helping us make our audio better. Watch this. So if you Google Adobe Podcasts, it's going to take you to this location. This is not really just to be used for podcasts. It's, it's great for doing podcasting. Uh, because it really makes you, it really cleans up your audio, makes it sound like you got a professional microphone or uh, or the sound recording equipment that you're working on. So if I click on this right here, and make you do a sign in for it. So you have to use your uh, a, a Creative Cloud. If you have your Creative Cloud, it's free to use. So if you do your sign in, once you signed in, it will take you to this website right here. And they'll, they they're very limited on their tools right now. They only have a couple of tools. They have a mic check uh, that will that says unlock the qualities and the sound from your microphone. This is the one that I really like to use after I've gotten through recording. Like I said, right now I'm recording, uh, and my mouth is a ways away from the microphone on the on the laptop. And now you can actually, and right here you're hearing how the sound actually sounds being recorded on this mic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Enhance Speech and go to this tool. Give that a window here that you can drag and drop, or you can just click Upload and find the file that you're trying to do. They only take MP MP3s and WAV files. Uh, they max out it. They only let you go up to one hour or one gigabyte uh, max per, uh, per per upload. So first of all, I'm going to need an audio file. So what I'm going to do is that I've recorded this stuff on camera here on my uh, laptop camera, but it's video, so I'm going to open this up and extract the audio from it. And I've been using this quite a bit for Premiere Pro, just things that I do inside of Premiere Pro. I've been exporting out my audio from Premiere Pro and then uh, uploading it to this website here, the podcast website. And then uh, using the audio that it fixes, it cleans up the audio, it gets rid of echo, it, whole, it does a whole bunch of different things using um, Adobe's AI. So I'm going to import that file. All right, so I've imported that file. I'm just going to drag it in my timeline. And now if I wanted to, I can edit this down to whatever length I want to. Uh, but pretty much here's my audio, just the, the, the way it sounded before. Because it's winter in Utah, we're very cold. So, uh, but what I want to show you, and my audio sounds a bit echoey. It also sounds you can hear the heater in the background. So right now it is very ugly sounding audio. But if I edit this down a little bit, like right here, I've got uh, a little chunk where I pause, and I can just edit this down and just get the audio that I want. All right, so I've edited that down to just the portions of the audio that I need, and I'm gonna do a Command M as in media. Uh, and, that's, and on a PC, if you're on Premiere Pro, that would be Control-M. And I'll bring up my export window here. I'm going to go Format. I'm going to take it down, and we're going to do Waveform Audio. Other than MP3, I want to keep the quality of this audio uh, pretty high, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to say Test Audio here. Export that out, and that exported out really fast, and that's just my test audio there. So now I'm going to go back to the website here, and I'm going to... And then I'm going to grab the audio that I just exported out here. So here's my crappy audio. I'm going to drag and drop it there. And now we'll start enhancing. And sometimes, if, depending on how long your audio file is, it can take up to maybe 10 minutes. It oftentimes will have a message that pops up saying this will take up to 10 minutes. With something this short, it usually only takes like about a minute. So I'm going to let that run for right now. And then we're going to come back here in a minute. And oops, so there's that message. And then we will see what we're left with. Okay, that really took just took about like 40 seconds, and then it will let you download uh, your enhanced audio here. So you can play it here if you want to. I'm just going to take it in the mirror and listen to it. Hit download, and there's my file right there. It says enhanced next to it. Adds the word enhanced next to it. So now uh, this is the, the cleaned up audio. Put that into Premiere, and then if you want to, you can just totally replace your old audio file here. Just drop it into your timeline, and it is left with the enhanced audio. So now let's listen to it. Because I'm going to talk about a little extra, a little tool that I've been using recently to make your audio go from this crappy 
Right now, it's really crappy audio condition, and that's amazing. It's gotten rid of all the noise. It's gotten rid of the echo. It just makes everything sound crystal clear like I'm using a nice professional mic. So I'm not sure how they do it. They say that they use uh, AI. So whatever they mean by that, I don't know. But it works really, really well, and it works a lot better than a lot of the cleanup features that I found in, in, in Adobe Audition. And it's, and it's automated, so you, you can't complain there. So there you go. Um, I use it to correct my crappy audio. I wish I could use it to correct my crappy camera out there, though. But they're not. Uh, they they haven't gotten that far yet. They're working with audio right now, and I think it works fantastically. So yeah, I've been using this for just like if I editing a scene of dialogue, just cleaning up on dialogue. Uh, I've been using it for my tutorials online. I've been using it for a whole bunch of different reasons. Uh, and I'm a big fan of this Adobe Podcast feature here. So it really helps you to get. Uh, good clean audio without using a very expensive microphone, which is pretty amazing. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd introduce you to that tool. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know.